Hi guys, let us solve question set number 5 on average. Question 1. The average temperature of all 7 days of the week is 30. That of the first 3 days is 28 and of the next 3 days is 31. So what is the temperature on the last day of the week? So we have been given the average temperature of all 7 days which is 30. So 30 is equal to the sum of the temperatures of all 7 days, let's term it as S, divided by 7. So therefore we can get the, the sum of the temperatures of all days as S equal to 30 times 7 is 210. Now the average of the first 3 days of the week is 28. So 28 is equal to the sum of temperatures of the first three days, let's term it as S1, divided by 3. Therefore, S1 is equal to 28 times 3, which is 84. Again, the average temperature of the next three days is 31. So 31 is equal to, let's term the sum of the next three days' temperature as S2, divided by 3. Therefore, S2 is equal to 31 times 3 which is 93. So we have the sum of temperatures of the first 3 days and the sum of temperatures of the next 3 days. So we can find out the temperature of the last day. So we can write the complete sum as S equals to S1 plus S2 plus the temperature on the last day. Let's name it as T. So S is 2110 equals to S1 is 84 plus S2 is 93 plus T. If you solve this, T will be equal to 33. Question 2. The average of 7 numbers is 39 and the average of 3 of them is 27. What is the average of other 4? So the average of 7 numbers is 39. So we can write 39 is equal to the sum of those 7 numbers divided by 7. So sum is equal to 39 times 7 which is 273. And the average of 3 of those 7 numbers is 27. So 27 is equal to let's say that the sum of those three numbers is S1 divided by 3. Therefore S1 is equal to 27 times 3 is 81. Now we have to find the average of other 4. So the average of other 4 is equal to the sum of the other 4 numbers divided by 4. So what is the sum of other 4 numbers? Well we know the sum of all 7 numbers and out of that we know the sum of the three numbers we can find out the sum of other four so sum is equal to s1 that is the sum of three numbers plus s2 that is the sum of other four numbers which is equal to 273 equal to 81 plus s2 so we can get the sum of other four numbers as 273 minus 81 which is equal to 192. Now we can get the average of the other four numbers. So S2 is 192 divided by 4 which is equal to 48. Let us move on to the third question. What is the mean of first 50 natural numbers? Mean means average. So Average is equal to sum upon count. Count is 50. We don't know the sum of first 50 natural numbers. Well, there is a formula for calculating the sum of natural numbers up to n numbers, which is n into n plus 1 by 2. Here, n is equal to 50. So 50 times 51 by 2, which is equal to 25 times 51. So average is equal to sum which is 25 times 51 divided by the count which is 50. So 25 times 2 is 50. What remains is 51 by 2 and that is 25.2. So the answer is option A.
the average salary of all workers in a garage is rupees 8000 the average salary of seven technicians is 12000 rupees and that of the rest is 6000 rupees what is the total number of workers okay let us assume that the number of workers be n and we have been given the average salary of all workers which is 8000 rupees so 8000 is equal to the sum of salaries of all workers let's say it is s divided by n next the average salary of seven technicians is 12000 rupees so we can write 12000 is equal to the sum of salaries of technicians which is st let us assume that divided by 7 and the average salary of the rest of the people is 6000 so 6000 is equal to the sum of salaries of rest of the people let's say which is r divided by the number of rest of the people which can be written as n minus 7 now let us calculate st and sr st is equal to 12000 times 7 which is equal to 84000 and sr is equal to 6000 times n minus 7 so which is 6000 n minus 42000 now you know that the sum of the salaries of all people will be equal to the sum of salaries of technicians plus sum of salaries of the rest of the people so this can be written as 8000 equals to s by n s is st plus sr by n st plus sr is equal to 84000 plus sr is 6000 n minus 42000 divided by n which can be written as 84000 minus 42000 gives you 42000 plus 6000 n divided by n and on the left hand side is 8000 so n goes here so this becomes 8000 n now 8000 n minus 6000 n gives you 2000 n equals to 42000 and these zeros gets cancelled out n is equal to 42 by 2 which is equal to 21 so the number of people or the number of workers are 21.